Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. O sacred heart of love divine, to keep us near to thee, and make our love so like to thine, that we may holy be. Of Jesus, I hear, O heart of love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always We are now gathered together. Let us begin our holy celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now on the first Friday of July. As we begin this month, let us give thanks to the Lord for the generous compassion He always has for us. Let us pause for a while and in, a, in silence let us acknowledge ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with this love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the containers for measuring, add to the weights, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly man for silver, and the poor man for a pair of sandals, even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday and cover the earth with darkness in broad daylight. I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth and make every head bald. I will make them mourn as for an only son, and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. Then shall they wander from sea to sea, and row from the, earth, from the north to the south, in search of the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. With all my heart I seek you, let me not stray from your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I gaps with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Please stand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 H
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at a customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the right use, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. One of the uh, character characteristics among us Filipinos is our love for movies. And uh, in about two decades ago, there was a movie which shows which showed family relationship genre. Ito yung tanging yaman. And few years after. It was also being followed by other movies with also the same genre about family relationships. I do not know if you have watched Seven Sundays or Yung Four Sisters and a Wedding. And if you notice among these movies which showed family relationships, you might notice that the commonality among them is the rivalry or misunderstandings among the siblings. Kaya nga doon sa isa sa mga movies na yon, one of the siblings said, parang hindi siya yung favorite. So I forgot the exact word, but among them, uh, that seemed to be the commonality among those movies. That they were thinking the parents or the parent had a favorite among siblings. However, in those movies, I could also say that they are common in a sense that they said that the parent was misunderstood because the parent only give more care to the person who is most in need. Kaya nga minsan, kahit sa atin, may mga kaibigan tayo, nagtatampo sa atin yung iba dahil daw hindi pare-pareho yung pagbibigay natin ng attention. Sometimes, we do not notice those others who are strong because we notice those most in need. I mention this, my dear brothers and sisters, because our gospel today speaks of Jesus Christ telling that he did not come for the righteous, but for the sinners. And if we notice this teaching at the onset, may, may be understood by some others na may pagka-exclusive itong si Jesus Christ because He was selective to those whom He wanted to teach. 
Siya ba ay para lang sa mga makasalanan, sa mga may hina, sa mga itinatakwil. We already know that God is always inclusive. At si Jesus, bilang Diyos at tao, yung kanyang pagkadiyos ay nakalaan para sa lahat. So, why did he say that he did not come for the righteous but for sinners? Because what we should not overlook is the reality that all of us are sinners. Hindi tayo righteous. Wala sa atin ang walang kasalanan. So now we understand why that the saying of Jesus does not mean that He wanted to exclude some others, but He wanted to awaken those who think that they are righteous. And in this case, it was the Pharisees na ang kasalanan nila ay yung hindi nila makita yung kanilang pagkukulang. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ saying is so inclusive because He was reminding us that we are in need of Him because no one among us is righteous. Kaya nga kung i-apply natin ito sa buhay natin, if you are going to apply it in our life, we should be reminded that sometimes we wanted to associate ourselves to those who are perfect. We want to be called righteous. Parang ayo natin na makikitaan tayo ng kamalian. And this innate character in us, our tendency to desire for righteousness, sometimes makes us forget that we also need to admit our short Comings. At kapag nakalimutan natin umami ng kasalanan natin, here comes the pride. Nagmamataas na tayo. And we are like Pharisees in that moment that Jesus Christ was teaching that we are only thinking we are righteous. But Jesus Christ with what he says, he reminds us that we should be humble in admitting our own sinfulness. So one lesson I can share for you is this reflection that we always think that admission of sin seems a failure on our part because it surfaces our shortcomings. Ayo nating umami ng kasalanan na nagkasala tayo because it shows our own weakness. However, my dear brothers and sisters, this failure is turned into joy, into victory because our merciful and forgiving God sees our contrite heart and humility when we admit our sinfulness. Kaya yung sinabi ni Jesus, I did not come for the righteous, but for sinners, is applicable to each one of us. May we be reminded by our own shortcomings, 
may the Lord God grant us the courage that we have to admit our own failures and confess our sins. Please stand. Christ came to all sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit and aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in this Eucharistic offering we may experience God's healing mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, with the faith of Abraham, who followed your call, your Christian people bring their prayers to you. Grant what you inspire us to ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured our blood and water from his pierced side 
the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that, won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sai 